It's really about time that we as humans really stand up for not disempowering ourselves and others anymore. Because we are really, truly perfect as we are. And, and nothing else is true. If we don't think we are perfect as we are, we are just believing in an idea, something we start to believe in, because everybody else were believing in. There were always something to change about ourselves. There was always something wrong when we compared ourselves to others. There is always something to work on. It's not needed. And that is what we come here to discover. Not only by listening to others, but first of all, we discover it in our own experience. And, and that's why I am here. Just to share what I have found to be true in my own life. Because I see at the core of any human being, we are totally pure, like a crystal ball. Just when we relax deeply, we rest naturally, just as we are. Not doing anything with it, not describing it, not changing it. Just we are having the thoughts we are having right now, we are having the emotions we are having right now, and that's what you got. You don't need to understand why you have the thoughts you have now, why you have the emotions you have now, no need to analyze it. You have what you have right now and that's where you are and that's perfect. And that's where we get real, in a new way, in a new and empowering way. Just take a look in your own experience right now, how much energy you have used and maybe are using right now, trying to change the thoughts and emotions you have right now or any data, any information streaming through your mind, streaming through your body, streaming through your heart, whatever, any information available right here, right now, you can leave it as it is and stand up for who you truly are. And you do that by leaving it as it is. So if you stop thinking for a moment, you don't disappear, you're here. So if you're all doing that right now, I see you still. <laughs> You're not gone anywhere. <laughs> so it's safe. It's safe to just rest naturally as you are. And that's what we test in short moments. The only instruction in this training is to test for short moments if you are totally fine as you are. that you are safe there within all your experiences, within all the data streaming. We make it so simple in this training. We call all that we think and feel and sense, all memories or future longings for data. When I first heard that in my world of being a victim to my thoughts and emotions, I took it as a big offense. It couldn't be that simple. It had to be described and elaborated, categorized, compared. It took a while of testing those short moments and see for myself, yes, it's fine. It can be data, dot. No more needed to do with them. That's when we really see how powerful we are as human beings. That's when we really see that at the core of us, there is just pure benefit. Just a heart wish to be of benefit not only to others, also to ourselves, we are included. So that's where the true responsibility comes. It's instinctive to us. Really, it's not something we, 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 we can learn in any way. But we see it directly in our own experience that that is the true responsibility and the, the true maturity. I never felt so grown up and so mature and loving it as I am now feeling so safe within my experience, feeling so safe there, no more to, to run for, hunt for, change, manipulate, nothing. Just being able to be. 
everyone wants that for their life. Just be. And then we discover that our gifts, strengths, talents, over special qualities, over pure uniqueness, is just available more and more to us. There's nothing more to be a victim of. Oh, why do they say like this? Why do they do like this? Oh, it's so narrow space to live over life. We don't even want to be there anymore. We relax, we take short moments, we see what comes up in us and that's where we have that ultimate decision. We can have ideas of so many things. We are brought up with ideas. We don't like that person. We don't like that trainer. We like that trainer. We, you know, that's just, it's so beautiful. It's just who we are, basically. Whole life like that. Categorizing, positive, negative, neutral. And that still goes on. I, I can turn on that and look at that in any min minute. But the decision I make is to just let it be. And then I see, and then I discern. And then life becomes easy and it becomes very easy to make decisions. Because I see that at the core of my decisions, I can rely on myself as open intelligence. As this intelligence is just opening up more and more and more. It's a pure wisdom, it's an instinctive wisdom of just to be human in our most natural and our most instinctive and most spontaneous form to the benefit of all. Nothing special with anyone. We all we all have this. It's just about coming here to train it up and to claim it. Then we see that all of our experience, all the data streams are inseparable from open intelligence. All that you think and feel is just your spontaneous, natural, dynamic expression and display of who you are. Opening intelligence, expressing itself. Just like the wind spontaneously and dynamically expressing the air. You never question that. Why do you question your own thoughts and emotions? They are just there, unpredictable, spontaneous, and expressing who you are when you let them be. If you control it, okay. Then we go into some learned habits that we have done for <laughs> generations. It's very, very old way of living human life. We don't need to do that anymore. We simply, we can choose something different. Then you really come to see that you as open intelligence is as a crystal ball. You can have a crystal ball and it can reflect a war zone. You can have a crystal ball, ball and it can reflect a beautiful sunset. What do you think happens to the crystal ball? Nothing. It stays pure, open and available. And that's who you are. So it means you stay naturally open, pure and available in a war zone and in a beautiful sunset and you know what to do because you're not disturbed by it anymore. You're just open and available to serve what is the most benefit in that situation and you've just gone beyond all the self-referencing, all this me, me, me. And it's all included, you can trust that and you can borrow trust from so many people that has tested this, that you are included, you will be taken so care of by yourself claiming living a life based on open intelligence. Completely trust that. If you don't trust that right now, that is also so fine. You can borrow so much trust here. <coughs> And that's really why we have the Four Mainstays. Really, that is what Balanced View is. We're doing this together and it's an education. The Four Mainstays is an education. Be practical about it. Make yourself an education plan. You can do self-study, group study, online, face-to-face, -face, but it's a practical education. And the more you show up to it, the more you use it, of course, it's easier to recognize yourself as open intelligence. Or you can take an extreme position and say, I am open intelligence al already because it's at the core of who we are, so it's fine. But that would be just as a bird saying, I have wings, fine. But the bird would know if he could fly, if he didn't test the wings. 
So testing the wings is what we do with short moments and the other mainstays. We're testing it. We're getting confirmation and assurance that that's who we are. Not only for those people, that's who I am. Because it could be a nice life philosophy. We all want to live of most benefit to ourselves and others. We all want that. Yeah, so it's... Um, I can only share my own experience with, with antidotes and so many things in my life I always wanted to change. And being hard on myself and criticizing myself for not doing the right thing according to some idea of what was moralistically good or what was other people expecting of me and all this self-blame and criticism. It doesn't work to base decisions on that. It can only come from this pure and spontaneous motivation to take care, but the, it's just naturally unfolding. Whatever time and whatever it will be for us, it doesn't have to look a certain way. So I have learned so much about myself because this is what Short Moments gives us, a direct transmission and a direct gate opener to be intimate with ourselves. So we can be open for that or not. So while antidoting, taking short moments, it's been a beautiful journey and still is. It's, so, it's never any special circumstance needed for taking short moments. So that's where it's at all the time, all the time. Back to short moments. We get real, we get true, we don't hide away in anything, we face everything, we avoid nothing which is one of my favorite sentences from, from the text we have. Because all your data is your gate openers. They are the tool for open intelligence, for recognizing open intelligence. Without data, you wouldn't even recognize it. 